Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create the same paint app, but this time using Java. I know you will be wondering why Java? It's so outdated. Kotlin and Jetpack Compose are the future of Android. I get it. But look at the poll. There are still 59% of people who wanted the same paint app in Java also. I will fulfill your request through this video, but I will also like to say I started Android with Java. And later, looking at the market, I needed to upgrade as a developer. Hence, I switched to Kotlin. Then again, a few years later, market changed. Now, Jetpack Compose was prioritized over XML. So again, I switched my coding language to Jetpack Compose. And maybe again, a few years later, some different coding language will be there. You never know, right? But one thing that you know for sure is to write any piece of code in any coding language if you know the logic. Doesn't matter if you don't know the syntax, doesn't matter if you don't know the language properly, but the only thing that matters is your ability to solve problems. Please do not completely depend on one coding language because the market will keep changing. It's 2025 and you are still using Java then as a developer, it's time to upgrade yourself. Now with that said, let's create the project. Also, if my TED talk changed your mind about switching to Kotlin, then you can check the Kotlin playlist from beginner to advanced by clicking on the i button. There you will find 53 videos that include beginner, intermediate and advanced Kotlin topics with 7 fully functional projects for free. Now, open Android Studio, create a new project, choose empty views activity, name the project the Paint App Java. Also, currently I am using the Android Studio Ladybug version. So select Java and click on finish. Let's do the prerequisites first. Go to the Gradle. As we are using the latest dependencies, hence we require compile SDK and target SDK as 35. Click on sync now and done. Then obviously we require storage permission to save our drawings in the photo gallery. Hence ask for write and read external storage permission. Now let's design our UI. The UI is pretty simple. We have four buttons for each color. Red, green, blue and black. A brush size selector and three functional buttons for eraser, reset and save to gallery. And lastly, one canvas. So let's write the code for it. There is nothing much to explain here, so just follow the code.
and done. Here only one thing is remaining and that is our canvas which we will create in logic. So for now leave it blank. Now let's write the code for canvas. So I will create a separate class for it and name it paint view. It's a canvas which is basically our view. Hence extends view. Here we have 10 steps to be performed. Starting with declaring all the required variables such as paint, the path for the stroke and an array list of paths where all the paths will be stored in an array list format. Same for paint as well. Then bitmap for drawing to image and lastly canvas. Then the second step is to initialize the paint and the path. So create an init function for it and inside it initialize paint then set the default color black then style stroke keep the width of stroke 10f then set anti-alize true which means the edges of the stroke needs to be smooth and then stroke cap round then initialize the path and both the array list Next, the third step is to create onDrawn function, which is responsible for drawing on the screen. We will use for loop that we iterate over a list of paths and corresponding paints. Drawing each path on the canvas with its associated paint. Draw path draws the current path with its respective paint color. Got it? Then, next, our fourth step is to create a new function on touch event, which is responsible for motion detection. So, create two variables x and y. These are coordinates. Here we will use a switch. So our first case is action down. Hence move to method will be used which means to start a new path and then call invalidate to redraw the view. Then in case 2 action move. We will use line to method which will extend the current path. Again invalidate then in case 3 action up here we will save the completed path and its associated paint then reset it and invalidate and lastly return true Next, step 5 is to set the brush color. So create a method for it and set the current color. Then step 6 is to set the brush size. So again create a method for it and set the current stroke width. Next, step 7 is to set the eraser mode. So create a method for it where if the eraser is selected then the color will be white. And if it is not, then the default color is black. Then step 8 is to clear the canvas. Means the reset button. So create a function for it. Clear the path as well as the paints. And lastly invalidate it. Next, step 9 is to get a bitmap image of the drawing. So create a bitmap function that will create a bitmap with width, height and good quality. Then a canvas is initialized to draw on a newly created bitmap and using the draw method all the paths and paints will be rendered onto the bitmap. And lastly it will return a bitmap image. Finally step 10 is to call the init function here inside the paint view constructor. And that's it. Now go back to activity main 
here call paint view which is a canvas now comes the important part go to main activity here we have eight steps to be performed all logic let's start with variable initialization and declaration so call the paint view class and a variable for storage permission code which is 100 then declare it now step 2 is to set the color buttons Hence, our first button is red. Set on click listener on it and set the brush color as red. Same with green, blue, and black buttons. Then, step 3 is to set the brush size using a seek bar. So, initialize a seek bar, set the progress 10, means the default brush size is 10. And then we will use set on seek bar change listener which has three methods on progress changed, on start tracking touch and on stop tracking touch. We don't require the start and stop, we only require the on progress changed method. Here we will set the brush size according to the progress chosen by the user. Then step 4 is to set the eraser mode. So declare the eraser button, set on click listener on it and set the eraser mode as true. Next. Step 5 is to clear the canvas using the reset button. So set on click listener on it and clear the canvas. Then step 6 is to ask for permission through logic. So first create a boolean function to check the permission. If the build version is greater than the queue version code, then check the self permission. Means see if write external storage permission is granted or not. If not, then the next is to request a write external storage permission using the storage permission code. Once we have the storage permission, then save the drawing to the gallery, which is a 7 step. First, get the bitmap, then use content values. It will store it in the form of a file, which consists of display name, which is our file name, the meme type which is PNG and then the path which is picture slash my paint tab. Now using URA insert the file into the external storage. Then if the file is not null, means if the file is present, then using the output stream, we can compress our image into PNG. Hence, keeping the mode right. If the output stream is not null, compress the bitmap into PNG with 100% quality. Close the output stream and throw a toast as save to gallery.
But if it fails, then throw a toast fail to save and print the error message. Now the very last step is to set up the save button. So set on click listener on it. If check permission is true, means permission is already granted, then call save drawing to gallery function, else call request permission function and that's it. Our paint app is ready in Java. Let's run the app and see. This is what the interface looks like. I can draw anything using any color. Change the brush size. Erase it. Reset it. And also save the drawing in the photos gallery. Isn't that great? See, the project can be made using Java also. But you can check my previous video where I use Kotlin. Then you will realize the amount of effort, hard work and so much of unnecessary boilerplate code that goes into Java. Again, it's your decision. So yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.